Hi, I'm Bacola, Senior Developer Advocate at Grafana. In this video, I'll show you how to run an HTTP check in Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring. An HTTP check verifies that your endpoint is online and measures how fast it responds and verifies that it's returning the correct status response code. Consistently scheduled HTTP checks allow you to catch HTTP connection errors the moment they happen and before your users experience them, allowing you to ensure your applications are reliable and users have a good experience. Before we walk through HTTP checks, let's walk through what Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring is. Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring is a black box monitoring solution that allows you to proactively monitor services and applications by running checks from public and private probes located globally. This allows you to easily assess the availability, performance, and correctness of these services and applications. With Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring, users can perform a wide variety of checks, including browser checks, ping checks, DNS checks, CCP checks, to name a few check options. Let's return back to HTTP check and walk through how to set up your first HTTP check with Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring. An HTTP check is one of the simplest ways to validate that your application is available and responding correctly. With Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring, you can send a request to an HTTP or HTTPS endpoint to measure uptime, track response latencies, and capture errors. These checks can be used to validate return status code, validate response headers using regular expression, and validate response bodies using regular expressions. If you'd like to configure more complex validations, please check out a multi-step HTTP check and scripted checks. HTTP checks can run from over 20 plus managed locations from around the world or from private probes within your own network. The results give you clear insights into your application's health and performance and can trigger alerts to keep you informed when issues appear. Let's now walk through the steps required to set up your first HTTP check. For this tutorial, we are using Grafana's demo app, Quick Pizza. To get started, you'll need a Grafana Cloud account. Once you're on the homepage, open the main menu and navigate to Testing and Synthetics. Select Synthetics and Checks, and then click Create a Check. You'll see many options for checks. All four check types can perform HTTP tests, but here's how to decide which one to choose. Multi-step checks, use this if you want to run multiple HTTP requests in sequence, passing response data from one request to the next. Script checks, use this if you want to write a K6 script that performs an HTTP test. Browser checks, use this if you want to write a K6 script that controls a headless browser. API endpoint check, this is the recommended option if you have a single endpoint you want to test. This is the one we'll choose for this demo. Provide a job name. We'll use the name Quick Pizza semicolon HTTP. Select a request type. We'll choose HTTP. Select a request target. We'll choose get and make our endpoint HTTPS quickpizza.grafana.com. When you are specifying your request target, you can also include additional options by selecting request options. This is where you can add additional options like specifying whether to follow redirects, a body for requests, authentication specific and TLS options, and etc. Please note if you do choose to add a request body, the body size is limited to 64 KBs. Let's move to step two by clicking the define uptime button. Valid status code. We will leave this blank. This defaults to any 200 status code. Valid HTTP version. We will leave this blank. SSL options. We will choose ignore SSL certification, but this section is where you can check if an SSL is present or not. Timeout. We will choose three seconds. If you don't get a response in three seconds, our check will fail. Let's move to step three by clicking the labels button. In this section, we recommend creating custom labels because they add additional information, which can be helpful if you are alerted about a test. Each label is using key value pairs. We'll choose quick pizza comma test. Let's move to step three by clicking the execution button. In the execution section, you can choose between public and private probe locations. Here you can decide which probe locations to send the request from. We'll choose Montreal, Jakarta, Stockholm for this example. You can also set up a private probe, but we'll stick to public probes for this example. Further down on this page, you'll find the option to set the test frequency. We will configure the HTTP check to run every one minute. 
Notice the additional information provided about the estimated executions expected to occur per month. Let's move to step four by clicking the alerting button. Effective alerting is essential for synthetic monitoring. When metrics deviate from expected performance, alerts are the most effective way to increase awareness and trigger necessary actions based on those metrics. You have two alerting options per check alerts or legacy alerts. Legacy alerts allow you to create alerts based on pre-configured alerting sensitivity thresholds. We recommend per check alerts, which allow you to create alerts based on the number of check failures in a specific time window, or if there is a TLS certificate failure or by latency threshold. We will select all three types of per check alerts. Fail check. If you remember in the previous section, we had three probe locations, Montreal, Jakarta, and Stockholm, sending one request every five minutes. So in 15 minutes, we will send 15 requests. We can specify how many failures of the 15 executions we want to be alerted about. For this tutorial, we will choose three of the 15 executions failure in the last five minute as the threshold to get alerted. TLS certificate. We will check alerts if the target certificate expires in less than for latency, we will check alert if latency exceeds 200 milliseconds over the last five minutes. Once all settings are configured, click save to initiate the test. You can also choose a test button to ensure the test works before saving. At this point, your HTTP check is now active and running. Our script has been running for a few hours, so let's now review the results. Each synthetic monitoring check includes a pre-configured dashboard that offers key insights into your selected synthetic monitoring tests. This dashboard provides metrics such as uptime, reachability, average latency, SSL expiry, and frequency. As you scroll through the dashboard, you'll find additional charts that offer deeper visibility, including response latency by phase. Additionally, you can see response latency by probe location. All data and visualizations are updated in real time as the test continues to run, allowing for continuous performance monitoring and faster issue detection. There you have it. You now know about Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring Solution and how to create an HTTP check. You can check out Grafana Play Synthetic Monitoring to see a dashboard with a variety of running checks. If you want to learn more about Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring, make sure to check out the documentation. See you in the next video.